Hi, I'm Robert, and this is the Manhattan Wood Project. I have a big project to make this time. It's a cedar chest that I've wanted to build for a long time for my Navy uniforms. Well, my wife wanted me to build it. So I designed it in SketchUp, included two little trays, and built it out of 13 cedar 2x4s. So I kind of built it quickly, made it up as I went, kind of followed the SketchUp drawings loosely. So I didn't record a lot of video, but you also don't need to see a lot of video of me sanding and cutting and planing and gluing and clamping. You'll be able to follow along with what I give you here. Stay tuned, because after I show you how I made it, I have a big announcement. So what should I make today? Manhattan Wood Project. That looks great! I started out by designing the cedar chest in SketchUp. That included making an ideal cut pattern for each 2x4 and even making a cut list. The design called for 10 2x4s, but I bought 13 to allow me to pick and choose good parts. And I'm really glad I got 13 since I had very few pieces left over. I started out by ripping the 2x4s in half and planing them down to the correct thickness. I only had a few minutes to get out here and plane in between rains and didn't have time to set up the camera. So here's the action shot of me doing all the planing. Oh my god, look at all those shavings. And there's the beautiful wood. It's not quite 5 eighths of an inch thick because my cutting wasn't dead on earlier, but I can fudge the numbers if I need to. Much like the pirate code, the cut list was more of a guide than a rule. After planing the pieces to thickness, I cut each individual part an inch longer than necessary and built two jointing jigs from my table saw to flatten one edge. One jointing jig was for longer pieces, and another was just for short pieces. After flattening one edge on a jointing jig, I was able to rip the pieces to the proper width. Then came the glue up. I used number zero biscuits to align the pieces and started gluing them together. After gluing up the back panel, I found out that it was easier to keep everything aligned if I glued up pieces two at a time instead of trying to glue up four or five or six pieces all at once. After the panels were glued up and sanded, I trimmed the panels to the proper length using a circular saw. I used painter's tape underneath the circular saw guide and under the circular saw itself to prevent from scratching the sanded edges up with the circular saw base. From there, it was just a matter of gluing the panels together and adding details like trim and trace sides and supports. I finished the outside of the chest with three coats of semi-gloss lacquer and added hinges and latches. Then I had to test to see if the chest could hold a body. Turns out, it'll hold all three of my kids individually, and one of them even fits underneath the trace. I added handles using nuts and bolts instead of screws, and a lid lock to keep the lid from flopping back and ripping out the hinge screws. I had to add a couple of small blocks on the tray supports to keep the trays far enough from the closed lid lock to prevent damage. Time to start filling it up. Dress uniforms, working uniforms, everything went in there. Even my ribbons, blue jackets manual, belts, and ties. So I think the cedar chest turned out really nice. It smells like cedar, not necessarily one of my favorite smells, but it's not like I'm going to be pulling those uniforms out ever again. So I can live with that. So like I said at the beginning of the project, I have a big announcement. Unfortunately, this is going to be one of my last big projects for a while. I'm in the process of changing jobs and we're in the process of moving, so Manhattan Wood Project is going to be taking a hiatus. Website's going to be up, YouTube's going to be up, but I'm not going to be making any more videos or projects. So I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, viewers, and sponsors. It's been a fun four and a half years. Hopefully I'll be back making projects and videos soon. Until then, remember that soft or hard, light or dark, all wood is good. Get out there, make something awesome. Did you like this video? Let me know by sharing it, giving me a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, and leaving a comment down below. Also, take a few minutes to visit my website, manhattanwoodproject.com. Follow me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. 